Third. Third. Real heckin' tired. Honestly, guys, real tired. <sighs> Ow. Ow, pop my knee. Is that that's all set up. Um, one second, let me do something quick. That's for later. Your posture right. straight. Three, two, one, go. Huh. Alternate bringing your knees up to touch the thought? ring on. If I actually have the headphones, breathe out as you raise ground, your knees. I can actually hear the game. Last time. Wild concept. All right. Good. Next is the heel lift stretch. Bring the insides of your ankles up toward the ring con. Be mindful of your body and stretch within the range of your ability. Last time. Yes, looking great. Next is the back straightening stretch. Take a big step forward and drop your hips. Focus on your form when raising your arms. This stretch works your core as well. Let's do one more of each. All right, good. Finally, spread your feet. Raise the ring con above your head and lean to the side. As you get comfortable doing the stretch, make sure you're still making large movements. This stretch works your back. Let's do one more of each. Great job! Alright, that's started. Yeah, I did that diet thing two years ago. It would take two weeks to do it again. Myself. All right, we're here. Oh, oh my God, man! I just cannot get going. Six 
rounds, huh? Like a skill and attack. Or seven rounds, rather. I can read. Wow. I really picked a... I really picked a great spot to stop last stream of this, huh? Okay, let's move! Lower your arm. Well, let's lower just a little more than six. <sighs> Squeeze your abdominal muscles and breathe deep. Hold off on those mountain climbers for a minute. Because <clears throat> I just ate before I started stream here. And I don't want to give myself an issue right before I start or ready to start stream. Okay, let's move. Go forward and push in on the ring top. Good job. Great! Amazing. Okay. Okay. 
all a clue. <sighs> Alright. So I actually have to guard attack for a change. Feel it in your stomach when you breathe out. Lucky break! Be sure to stay hydrated. Alright. Got a lot of gas out of my system. My vest is getting better now that I actually. That's the weird part. So, I have another, I have a workout vest on again, but it's a, my other one was getting too tight. I think it was just shrinking. So I purchased another one that's a little, that was a little bit bigger. So now, it's, so it fits loose. Look around the chest area. I don't know why this thing, it's always the chest area of mine, it's always tight. Anyway. It fits better now that I let out some vessels, so maybe I'll feel better about doing mountain climbing for a game. Set down and then have this thing not recognize my commands, because that's usually how it goes. Is it likes to not recognize when I'm doing certain activities. This is one of them. Alright. Move super energetically. Oh, they're dead. Uh, ring. Okay, let's move. Try this to work your core. Okay. Keep it up! 
ready for that last drop, but okay. <sighs> heel squat. How do we handle heel squat? Uh, uh, two turns left on that. I mean, it'll take four turns to recharge. Mm -hmm. I actually think I'll do bow pull, bow pull, and then hopefully it'll buff my uh, yoga okay, stat. Let's go. Hold the ring pod like a bow. Very nice. Awesome. Trying to go for some big brain plays here, Great. or some lucky plays, one or the other. about the bow pull. Like, okay. when I do the bow pull, it's like my left eye. Nice. Perfect. Okay. I think my left big toe is... It gets Fantastic. stiff and then I have to pop it. I know it's kind of a weird thing to segue to, but that's what we're doing now. Great. We've come to this weird place and we've embraced its weirdness. Okay, okay, so just one of them is attacking. You should feel it in your stomach, it is not your arms. You! Huh. I'm anticipating the bird attacking and you to buff, do weird buff things. Yeah, that's a lot of heal, isn't it? A tough one, but you can well, do it. Yeah, I won't be ready for a bit, so I have to get the mustache here on my mouth. Warrior two pose. Warrior two pose.
can't switch sides. Don't forget to switch legs. Oh. Like the skill and okay. Good well. luck. If you press lunch. We'll just do the two reps of this. It's gonna take to knock you out. And move on to the next round. through all these enemies super fast. Kill time here. My legs were hella tired of that one. We'll save the mountain climbers for another time. It's probably the next wave. Okay, let's move. Focus on your Actually, I didn't, haven't done any rush twists yet. Right. Excellent. 
Yeah, okay, that's what I was hoping for. Sorry, I had to check a message really quick. Russian twist. I always seem to get... It's whenever I play Ring Fit, I seem to get a lot of messages. Up to Daisy. With your legs bent slightly, squeeze. Sorry, I was just checking room. Checking room because last stream of this I had because I listened to everything through my headset. My head was a wireless headset, and for whatever reason, about every ten minutes, last stream of this, my headset would just shut off. Even though we'd be receiving sound input, and it was it was really distracting to say the least. So I had to make sure that everything was still connected sound-wise. But that reminds me of something that I want to talk about. I'm using this moment to take a quick breather. So I don't know if it's just my computer's problem of the day. Because my computer's been starting to have problems of the day, unless it has like a perfect boot sequence. Where. Because I watch a lot of stuff when I watch on YouTube now. I watch it at, at one and a half times speed, because I just don't have time to watch full videos that people put out at normal speed anymore. But while watching some of the stuff, like, the video will go normal, and then for like half a minute, and then for like a minute, or for like. 10 seconds of the goal, like quadruple speed on the vi on the uh, visual side, but the audio side will stay the same. And then it has to stop, buffer for about a minute, and then it picks up and plays normally how I had beforehand. I don't know if it's just my computer having an issue or if that's been YouTube in general today. <sighs> Put it down. Back to these. Super energetically. Make big, wide motions. Hang on. We, uh. Oh. Huh. Uh. Well. I know something got worse. Um, well, apparently I skinned my toe in something, because I just noticed a bunch of red marks on the floor. Yeah, I've, uh, skinned my toe. Well, damn it. <laughs> All right. Uh, 
So, it's not really a medical emergency, but I am going to take a minute to go bandage and wrap up my toe really quick. So, anybody watching, if anybody comes in and asks what's going on, just inform them. I'll shoot back in just a minute, though. Okay, almost ready to get back to it. I just uh, have to cut the adhesive tape. I'm not going to show this on stream because it's probably against TOS to show bodily harm, even though it's just for myself. But basically, I must have, my shoes must be rubbing me the wrong way or something because I can show it on my thumb. But basically, a bit of skin on my, a section of skin about the size of this pen nub on my bottom of my toe has basically stripped off like this way or I guess it's really hard to say like that so I had to take care of loose skin and also apply a bandage and adhesive and adhesive tape so hopefully that'll stop it long enough for me to continue everything tonight back here, which is the weird part. So, like, there's no furniture back here I even touched to cause it to happen. So, it just... It, my, my, my toe just sighed, and I'm done. Unfortunately, working out doesn't take breaks. Can I get it? Okay, no, let's other mark some other times. I'm going to have to scrub the carpet after this guy. Goes away with time. Anyway, that's problems for a future scooter to worry about. 
Friend Scooter has entertained. Move super energetically. Make big, wide moves. Okay. I'm really just bent the whole way from the sock. Playing at a disadvantage. Sure, I actually hit it. You know what? Hang on. turn into a first aid stream. I feel so bad because like I realize I need to take care of myself before anything gets worse. But I feel bad because I feel like I just came on to do my weekly green fit stream. And now that got sidelined immediately by flipping out of my control. Take the time. Oh god. I did nothing at all. We ain't chilling that on stream, but that's really gonna piss me off if I switch gears on stream really fast. Blame the cold weather, because I, because I can see a lot of my toe is cracked from lack of moisture. At least I'm going to assume that's what's going on. I'm sorry if you can't hear me too well. I'm kind of at the mercy of this predicament until I can mostly rectify it.
that was just for me just yelling through the void if I am, but thanks for your understanding while I handle this. Like again, I shouldn't feel like I need to beg forgiveness of a stream when it's something that could potentially cause damage to me or my other or my living space. But I really do feel bad when I have to stop the planned stream to handle something serious. So my apologies for having to do as such. Hopefully I've staved off any Hopefully I've staved off the issues for now. To the point where they won't come back anymore. Wait. I gotta get them all at once. I can't uh, I can't specialize. Although now it's gonna suck. Because my right foot's gonna slip constantly. Or my right foot rather. Relax and don't strain your shoulders. Switch sides. Don't forget to switch legs. God damn it, I have no balance. I think as long as we don't do mom climbers, we should be okay, because I just checked my foot and it's I don't have any bleedings going on through the sock. So I think we're okay as long as we don't do any more mom climbers. Just one. I wonder which one it is. A healer. Okay. That's good. A lot of attacks gonna hurt whenever it hits. Just hope it's enough to knock out the uh, two in the okay, outside. So they're gonna take damage go. no matter what I do. Be careful not to lower your elbow. Fantastic! Excellent! Nice! Very nice! Okay! But if that thing is my toe, if my, the thing my right toe has been going on all day, that would explain why I was really tired. Okay, it'll be enough to take care of the Megafauna so there will not be any respawning enemies. 
Luckily, I've still got some rocks I left over from okay. when I, uh, before I moved here. Good job. Before I moved out here to where Amazing. I am now, because I ain't going to need that tonight. Nice. I'm going to need that. Fantastic. Hopefully, I'll leave myself enough time, but in the morning. Increase your pace. Good job. Come on. I don't think anything. Five, I, don't, I don't leave Great. a mess on the floor. So it's, uh, okay. it's enough Excellent. of a, it's enough of a harm to my, per that's enough, it was enough of a harm to my personal person where I'm worried that it could Not possibly wrong. get infected. Lucky break. Don't push it. Take a break if you need to. Oh, well, <laughs> lucky break on that nice. All right. Some water. It's gonna bug me all night that I. It's gonna bug me all night that I had to take care of that. And again, it's taking care of, take care of myself so I'm not hurt. But it's not gonna bug me because I took away from your guys' experience. <laughs> and that should bug you as well if it took away from your experience of not having someone belch at a mega decibel in your ears. Okay. Now the sensible thing, the sensible thing would be to... Oh, it's that thing. I can't use the Mountain Climber, but it's less than power of the Mountain Climbers. Like, yeah, the sensible thing for me to do right now would be, you know, really, that was a, that was 140 calories for that? Wow. That didn't even feel like it. But yeah, like I'm saying, the sensible thing to, that I should do is probably, you know, just be like, okay, I'm, I've injured myself. I should get some workman's comp for what I've done. No, um, I've injured myself doing this to a degree that I should probably stop and change gears on stream, but I'm gonna push through it. Is that some MFN Bonan? Oh, that's not the button, that's the button. 
Do I not have a double up? I don't have any more double ups. Oh no! I am out of double ups. Uh, uh. Can I make smoothies right here? I'm missing Kavaj and I'm missing Sasami. Whoa! Them wheatgrass, them wheatgrass smoothies, though, are uh, kind of OP. All right. All right. Let's move. While pushing in on me, swing me down in front of your stuff. Okay. Nice. Jump a little higher by bending your knees more. Yeah, nice work. I think we're just done with uh, enemies that have an element color. Now I think we're just on to. I think we're just on to straight, no element affinity or definity enemies for now on. Camper. Okay. Okay, let's move. This will focus on working your legs. Line work. Awesome. Well, that's a bad Great. sign. Perfect. Now I can feel it. <laughs> we got Wonderful. past the point of the pain right. not existing up to a point nice. where, or the pain being so fresh that I couldn't uh, feel it. To the point of now that I know it's there, my mind recognizes that, that the injury is there. Okay. Now it's like, hey, Fantastic. this part, this part of your body near where the injury occurred is sore. We're at that point now of uh, pain discovery.
I'm trying to make the focal, this is the focal point of my conversation. But when it's like, and again, nothing on you guys, but when I've got like, when I myself have nothing else that I can think of to talk about, without spoiling anything I've got going on, my talks and conversation are literally limited to what just happened and what I'm doing. So, I'll find something to randomly talk about that we can use to shift focus away. Eventually. Yay! Doing great. Keep pushing me in against your stuff. Random thing I can I thought about that we can chat about for a minute. Hold on, hold that. There we go. Um, and that's kind of been in everybody's timeline today. Just to, well, for those that follow video games for the most part. But uh, for those of you who don't know, the assumption is we don't know for facts right now. The assumption is that Roger Craig Smith with uh, Sega has run out and he's no longer going to be the voice of Sonic. Which sucks. Because, like, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure everybody clowned on Roger when he we did his first role of Sonic and Wait. Sonic Colors, I believe. Wait. Oriented. But yeah, it's kind of. I mean, I think Sonic Boom is over. I think they stopped making an episode of Sonic Boom, so we don't have to worry about that. Worry about the Sonic voice and Sonic Boom being weirdly different or compromised. But it just kind of sucks because it's, you know, kind of sucks because, like I said, I'm pretty sure we all clowned on Roger when he first started voicing Sonic, but at this point now, when you think about the voice of Sonic, you're just like, oh yeah, voice by Roger Craig Smith, this is a great job. But now we can't have that anymore. Okay, let's Although the rumor mill is circulating that... I don't know if it's just in America or in their, or in their branch in, or in the Sonic Team branch in general. But think of looking at a re, looking at like a rumor has that Sega is looking to recast and re and fire like hire writers. And they're basically trying to do the whole nine yards with their Sonic stuff. Worry. Because the last time that happened, okay. the last time that happened, they were transitioning, Wonderful. and uh, Sonic 06 happened, I believe. All right. Yeah, I think Sonic 06 was it. Was the last thing that happened when they were in transition from old nice. to new. Amazing. Excellent. Excellent. It sucks even more so. They just thought about it. Yes. The last major Sonic, the last mainline Sonic game Roger Vo is going to be voicing is going to be Sonic Forces, which didn't do well. But the 
last title that he worked on, Big Voice of Four, was Puyo Puyo and Tetris 2. Okay, let's switch sides. But now I'm also worried because, like, the cast that's there, like, I I only know, like, a couple names from the current cast, like, the Katie Higgins? I can't remember the full name. The current voice of... Yeah, the current voice of Tails. Like, you know, she's, she's well-versed. She's well-versed in, like, everything voice acting. She'll probably find another gig crazy, so will Roger. But, like... Her most notable role before she came to voice Tails was Sakura in uh, in the English dub of the Naruto and all the Naruto stuff. Like that's a minor worry. The biggest worry for me really is uh is if they're recasting everybody, Mike Pollock. The current voice of Dr. Eggman. Well done. I'm worried about that one. Because I remember, like, the current, like, I think Mike's first role as Eggman was Sonic 06. Possibly so Shadow the Hedgehog. Somewhere in that very bad age of Sonic <laughs> that we should not talk about. But, like... I worry that, like, if they recast Mike's role, if they recast Dr. Eggman, I don't know, like, I should say, transitioning from Sonic Adventure 2 to Shadow the Hedgehog slash Sonic 06, I didn't even really notice a change. Like, it was that seamless. Like, he did such a good job he, transitioning in that it, I didn't even notice he, it cha he changed roles until I found out about a, found out through a webcomic, like, a, like, a month after one of those two games released. But like, I worry that if they recast Mike, they're gonna try and go back to the to the dark brooding Eggman they had back in the adventure games. Like everybody liked that Eggman, but I worry that going back to the Eggman will be detrimental almost. All right. Well, good news. I don't have any blood spots on the bottom of my foot after 20 minutes. So I think I've sufficiently healed the wound. I should say heal. I've sutured the, the wound, so to say. It's gonna be weird. Like, rumors are going about that, you know, for Sonic. It's gonna get recast through Ben Schwartz. Which. Steady your roll. Because I thought so too for the longest time. Good. Ben Schwartz is not the same as Ben Shapiro. I was worried about that for a while, and then I remembered to read names. Uh, ben Schwartz did the voice of Sonic in the in the Sonic movie. No, I want all of it. Yeah, he did the voice of Sonic in the Sonic movie. Which, like I said, he did a fantastic. Ben did a fantastic job. that the voice I love him as an actor but I worry that if they're gonna if they do if the rumor doesn't hold weight and they decide to go with all the movie actors with uh for voices for Sonic characters going forward I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to handle I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to handle Jim Carrey as Dr. Eggman again he did a fantastic job he did a fantastic now, job in the movies, Dr. Eggman. Even, even at the very end, he very closely mimicked Mike Pollock's uh, Eggman laugh. 
Charge your squat power, but don't overextend you. Release toward the victory! But I'm not sure if I'm ready for, uh... I'm not ready. For, I'm not sure if I'm ready for Dr. Eggman to be the lead star of Liar Liar. Mystery drink. It's water. All right. So what do I got? I believe I was working my way to one of these two hearts over here. Or no, I was working my way down here to this, and then we'll get and then we would get hearts later. So one more level up and get that. Uh we don't have happen to have like a level up smoothie, do we? Okay, we don't. Yeah, I guess that's just that's just some food for thought I've had. That's food for thought and things that have been floating around my head that just uh, experience. So we get the double exp, and we get that banana. I guess that's just my thought is that they're gonna they're gonna try and my worry that everybody I think everybody has is that they're gonna try and make the movie cast bleed into the cast of every other bleed into the cast of every other genre of Sonic when that hasn't worked out too well for some other things. Ryan Reynolds is the voice of live-action Pikachu. We're not going to get Ryan Reynolds voicing Pikachu in the anime or in the games. I should not need to power this up. This should be enough. Oh. Okay, let's move. Oh, I taste of garlic. Fantastic. So full disclosure. Okay. I'm basically burning off my dinner. You can't see me here, folks. Very nice. I'm finishing. Bur I'm basically burning off my dinner tonight with this workout, Fine work. which was wonderful. Uh, Let's say about a third of a bag of pretzels and a salad. Okay. I know, the most healthy dinner in the world. But the thing is, that bag of pretzels are like seasoned heavily with garlic. Awesome. And my salad had a roasted, roasted garlic vinaigrette on it. So, all I, all I smell and taste is garlic. Which, hey, not a bad thing. Garlic is good for you, good for your heart, and all that good jazz. So just... Great. Nice. If I was the only one in this room right now, they would have well left. Done. Switch 
side. Straight up Wario Man in this in this room. Okay, let's move. Be sure your wrists you know, are all good. I should do that one day. Like if I have another if I have if I have the ability to a marathon or a marathon stream or a charity stream of some kind. Okay. I may do a, a donation center where I just have like a bulb of garlic sitting off to the side here, like where I've got my water bottle right now. Just have a bulb of garlic sitting off to the side here. And just have like a thing on the, on a list of like donation goals or donation incentives. So just like, you know, if, like I'm going to say like $50, maybe even a hundred, just like hundred dollars. Eat the mystery fruit. A strong boy. Oh, that's a very strong boy. But I don't feel like it works out my abs as well as the uh, leg raise. I'm gonna keep the leg raise. Plus, I do those in my not on camera uh, workouts as well. No. So, what, I need seven more levels. Probably not gonna get it by the end. Also, can I make any more level up stuff? Or more double experience stuff, double money. Money. I'm looking. Is my dad in suit? Did I ever go past it? I'm looking carefully because I want to see if I can make a double experience drink. Do I not get to make double experience drinks? Hold on. Like it's orange in color, so it's. So my brain is trying to yell at me that it's here. Ooh. That actually sounds really good. Like real life, that sounds really good. <laughs> um Yeah, it's not I guess I just don't get to make that kind of stuff? Question mark. I guess I just don't get to make double I guess I just don't get to make double experience things. That must be a new game plus thing. I do have a friend, name drop, incoming. I do have a friend, Slim Kirby, who is doing this game and he's been playing the story mode every day. And he's in New Game Plus with the story mode. Also, I want to say two um, He's in New Game Plus. In, he's in New Game Plus. And he mentioned experience smoothies. So I got to wonder if when you get to New Game Plus, you get access to those smoothies. I guess I could ask him. I guess I could ask him later. I'm not hurting for experience right now. Like I'm level 210, and I'm going into stages that are level 170. I'm not hurting for experience at all right now. I guess it was it's a question I should ask him because I am morbidly curious if that is a thing that happens in New Game Plus. Okay, let's go. Try this and work your core. Good job! Okay. 
that are being asked a lot is nice. Like I know Wonderful. I name drop a lot. I name drop quite a bit. I'm well aware. Is it really annoying? Amazing. Fantastic. Just because like, Excellent. like these are names that I drop. I only drop these names because I talk to these people. I talk to these people on a con on a near daily basis. So I gotta wonder if like. Me name dropping Great. isn't that bad as I think it is, or just as bad as I think it is. Neat. Like I said, Amazing. it's not like, oh, it's not like I'm sitting here going, oh, I had a one on one with Markiplier recently. Ah, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna take that with me all the way. No, I don't talk with that man, so I'm not gonna name drop. Excellent. I talk with, referring back to him again, so Kirby, I talk with Neat. him. Uh, our schedules are always conflicting, but we at least exchange weird, weird interactions on Twitter. So I say we talk, I talk to them about once a month or so, at least. So, but like, I won't name drop somebody I don't talk to. Challenge yourself. Nice. All right. Very nice. Nice. Like in my head, come on. Take it's the same as going. Oh. I talked to All Julia right. the other day, and she told me about this wonderful right. cookie recipe. That's what, that's what it sounds like in my head when I go to talk about, Neat. when I talk about somebody I know that happens to have some notoriety yeah. online. Great! Three! You got it! Okay! One left! Okay! I don't know, that's you just... You made it! Stand up. No need to rush, though. Like I said, that's my mentality on it, is... I'm literally treating it like I'm talk I just talked with a coworker the other day, and they talked about something, so I'm bringing it up and and mentioning their name to say, hey, here's the source of this thing I know about, or this thing that somebody told me. It came from this person. Okay, <laughs> let's select the skill. <clears throat> that's really the only reason I'll. That's not enough. That's really the only reason I'll name drop somebody, really, is as a source. At least I try to, anyway. Okay, let's go. This will focus on working your legs. Fine work. Fantastic. Fantastic. Fine work. I guess the best way I can talk about it is. Excellent. The best way I can talk Amazing. about it is, uh. If it makes Very sense from what I've been looking at it from, is. Like. Great! Wonderful! Me. Like, okay, I'm just okay. gonna speak personally. I can't speak from other people. Me personally, I used to talk with okay. Kobe about her mommy. Nice. Like, once every two weeks. Yes, it was well in a group, also, it wasn't a lot of people. Okay. I kind of think we talked. But then he kind of just disappeared off the face of the planet. The pl and then later found out that he stopped, he stopped being online, period, for his own mental health. Awesome. Which is fine. Good on him. He got, he's, he, got, he got out. He found a reason to get out of the grind and the hustle. And it's enough reason that I respect it. I've been talking to Kobe since he quit, quit YouTube. I have not talked to that man since he quit YouTube. Can I name drop him for any reason? No, that's how I feel, is I've not talked to him in five years now. So it would not be of the right mindset just to, just to name drop him. But somebody I talked to, you know, three or four days ago, I feel like that's okay to name drop because I literally just talked to him. I don't know. I guess I break bring it up as an inquisitive thing because I gotta wonder if I'm in the wrong doing it as much as I do. Like, I have started limiting myself. Like, I will say something simple as, oh, it's like, so the other day I was talking with one of my colleagues and I'll leave it at that. Get it? 
Thank you. Just one little thing that's hit in the back of my mind, cause okay, nice. all I imagine from the outsider looking in is somebody who's just like yeah, yeah, somebody looking in on it is just like oh god, here goes Scooter name dropping somebody name dropping somebody that has more notoriety than him, trying to cling on to their popularity. I comment, okay. I will promptly and politely say, fuck that noise, that's not why I stri name dropped. <laughs> Basically using the, the the notoriety boost of saying his name to boost myself forward. No. I will never do that. That is scummy and bullshit. What I'm trying to say at the well end of the day done. is, what I'm trying to say at the end of the day is, if you have that notoriety with, or if you have that connection with somebody, you can use them as a reliable source. If you no longer have that connection, don't abuse it to, to push yourself forward. <laughs> Be truthful. them the notoriety they deserve. Let's hurry out of here. Oh, thanks. I think we didn't hit. Yeah, I did. Oh, well. Oh, no. They stole some oh, well. Money. The money don't matter. Your hips. 
I mean, I guess they're they're long gone now, but that's the issue I have with a lot of these bots that popped up a lot recently on Twitch. Because they're trying to. Measuring. I know I'm top jumping subject, but trust me, it all makes sense in the end. Like all these bots that are popping up that are trying to take advantage of your notoriety. Or take advantage of people trying to gain notoriety online. That's probably the scummiest shit I've seen in my life. Ah, attack power. Glug lug. A glug a chug a lug a lug. Man, I have to pass Bat back. Oh, let's be nice cooldown. Is there a skip tutorial button in these? Because those bots that come along and just like, hey, want to become famous? Click this link and give us $35 a month. Just one, that wastes the time of the person that is privy to those those atta those tactics and horseshit. Because all because that just makes us waste time banning the bot. But for those that are not privy to those, it wastes their time, money. And then later on their effort to get back what they lost because the bot actually secretly secretly gets access to their channel and then blocks that person's access to that channel that they spent money on to get the to get the notoriety they so they're so craving for. Ready? Go! to hit it. at least. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Got the bonus even. What's my score? A rank. I'll take it. Seamless. I feel like I just went on an endless tangent there. Oh boy, advanced smackback, the game that doesn't work. Twist as far as hard. Maybe I do. I hate this. Your 
course, in the last one. Snapback doesn't work. I mean, they tried, but it doesn't work. I feel like I could do just as well in Smackback by just going like this. By just shaking the ring on. We've kind of gone on a roller coaster of topics today, haven't we? <laughs> serious stuff, game. Serious stuff, game. Serious stuff, game. Serious stuff with game. Game. Come on, let's run. Okay, let's fly. I guess it's just kind of the uh, issue I go through. This is it's kind of the uh, mental Olympics I go through. Cause like everything leading up to me to me actually playing a game. When you want to back yourself everything leading up to me actually me. playing the game for you guys. It's like an hour-long argument with myself of You should stream. You promised you'd stream tonight. You should stream tonight. And then my brain goes, okay, but but you promised. Okay, but I wanna, but you promised. Welcome to the hour-long tussle that goes on before I even push the go live button. Nice work. But then once I go live, I think you'll probably level something up. your brain just goes, oh hey, what? And then everything that I just panicked about just and I'm doing okay. what we're doing right now. Let's select the skill. Pendulum pen. It's a weird, it's a weird problem I have. Okay, let's go. It's, I guess it's, it extends from being anti-social to an extent. Are you guys having social anxiety? Very nice. I don't know. I'm not clinically diagnosed, so I can't say if I have anxiety or anything like that. Amazing. I just took my computer, or computer radiator. I'm going to need to hit that with some uh, cleaning nice. product here. One of these days. Great. It's work, but I have to stop pushing things anyway. Great. Amazing. Nice. Fantastic. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Fantastic. Okay! Wonderful! Also, I see a ping Me? on Discord. Perfect. All right. sure. uh, I don't see what it is. Okay. But there's a 95% chance awesome. that it's just a ping Fine work. from a Max Baby uh, channel. Great! 20 more!
They're both going for the, for the clobber. Let me check this message really quick. Let me see, let me do some math here. So we need something that does 560 or better. That is a mountain climbers. I can make it do 560 or better. back to that whole stream anxiety thing. I know it's not just me. I know a lot of people who are honestly enough a lot of people who are content creators and even full-time streamers. I don't have the same issue where I should do the thing. I should do the thing that helps me pay my bills. But I can't. Why? Because I don't because I don't because I'm scared or I don't want to. But you need to. I can't. Yes. Catches the bottom of this or is watching right now. Like, if you don't de have to deal with that, count your stars, count your, count your lucky stars, count your blessings, and you don't de have to deal with mental well mental blockades about talk when it comes to talking. Very nice. A lot of my mental blockade is, oh, I'm gonna, I know okay. I'm gonna sound stupid when I talk, which I. Thankfully, gotten over that as the years have gone on, but it's still there a lot of times. But if you don't have that mental blockade or a social anxiety that stops you from doing it, count your stars, your blessings. Because you can just talk about what you want without much of, with much, without much worry about what you say. Those of us that have trouble talking. Those in trouble like starting Good conversation, answer. there's something that looms in the back of our head that just stops us from making a conversation. Either something we've done or said in the past, or a reaction somebody had to something we said on multiple occasions. Just there's something in the back of our heads that's just like, ah, uh, but what if I didn't? And then fight with that until until you're 40, 50 years old. <laughs> I do this course in my, uh, in my not, not streaming and not recorded, uh, workout routine. I do this course. It's just with a different coat of paint. It's set at, like, midday instead of, instead of death and alley. See, I 
I'm in the yellow skin. I'm dressed to impress. Oh god, what is that? You uh, got Fall Out Boy called Death Keep Valley. Pushing me into your stomach. But Death but Fall Out Boy speaks in just such a way where I can't understand half their lyrics. I need to do a karaoke stream one of these streams. Okay. Okay, Let's I'm gonna talk myself up for a minute, but it has purpose. I need to do a karaoke stream one of these streams because I know I have a decent singing voice. The only issue is speaking is not as much of an issue as it is for me singing. I have I have stage fright issues okay, with singing. Let's go. I'll get your back with this one. Fantastic! Nicely done! Because I've kind of gotten to a point in my life where it's just like, Perfect. I'm going to say these words. Are they going to hurt me? Yeah, fuck it. I'm going to well say them. Excellent. Contra con contrary to what I just said five minutes ago. Okay. Sharp. I did say I was kind of getting over that pump of what stopped me from speaking in my mind. Great. I feel like I'm finally getting over Amazing. that pump. But singing? Like if I sing... I feel like I would, uh, my uh, perfectionism with singing would come to a point where it's like I have to hear the song once, then I have to have the lyrics up okay. with the song once, then I have to have the lyrics up while I sing the song in order to okay. remotely come close enough to feeling like I've done well enough to just do the song justice. Very nice. All right. I think half the issue with me singing does come down to I know what my voice is, but I what my voice prefers, and I hate it. Because what my voice, because what my vocal range and what my voice does best is singing country. I despise country. There's like three country songs I can stomach that are currently out on the radio. Stomach is much different than enjoy. Good job. Awesome. The country music that I think I enjoy to any extent passed passed away in the 90s. Like I'd have to listen to the music again. But I think Joe Diffie is like one of the few country stars that I I remember the name of and listening to his music that was like, I remember him. I remember liking his stuff. But I'm pretty sure the last thing, the last album he put out was back in the 90s. Great! Perfect! Okay! Excellent! Amazing! Very nice! Well done! So imagine my joy. Imagine Good my joy job. at work. For two out of my five days out of the work week, when it's the it's time to let country have a turn, and we never hear rock, we never hear rock music, and we get alternative otherwise. Hello, Kasai. Uh, yeah, I'm getting close to the end of the game. This is the this is like I think this is actually the last level in the backside of Finalia. Finalia lost. I'm calling the next stream that. Holy cow. The next time you stream Ring Fit, Finale of Lost. It's happening. Uh, could be better. I'd show you, but I'm pretty sure what I would show you is against TOS. Uh, I cut open my toe doing, uh, 
doing mountain climbers earlier this stream. So I can't do one of my workout exercises. <laughs> But yeah, I can't show the actual thing, but what I can do yeah, is that. Great, thanks for spinning chair. Uh, big toe. Big toe. There, basically I've got two band-aids on it, wrapped in, adhe in an adhesive strap, and a sock on. I don't see any red on it, so I think I gave it enough pressure and everything. But yeah, it was just like... I was doing my second rep of 60 of mountain climbers, and I looked down and I was like, huh, there's red spots in the carpet behind me. And then I looked by my right hand, huh, there's red spots in the carpet right in front of me. Hold on, sit down, lift up my foot. Oh, that's a good, that's a good inch of skin just torn off the bottom of my toe. Great. I think most of the, uh, oh, we can talk more about injuries in a minute, but like, yeah, so kind of bums me out and I got to wonder if it's something that potentially happened at work too, but I can't see it inside my shoe well enough. To see if like my toe got cut up at work for some reason. They may have triggered that. Okay. I've had that happen, but not to that extreme. I've had it happen twice now. Same foot actually. Where different things bounced off my foot. Or no, it was the same thing that happened. One thing happened like Three months after the initial thing happened, at work I dropped a uh, at work I dropped a standard wooden pallet. I just dropped it on the floor. Didn't watch where my foot was. I bounced the pallet off my foot. Didn't hurt. Didn't hurt. But then I was like, huh, my toenail is turning funny colors. Okay, let's go. Oh, Imagine I forgot what I was doing. Excellent. Well, awesome. additional uh, app press. I was like, okay, well, whatever, maybe we'll just pass. Six months later. Six months later, it's like, man, my toenail has not grown at all. That's weird. Pick, pick, pick. Oh, it comes up. Oh, it comes off. I basically bruised my toe, the bed of my toenail, and it took six months to heal. And then three months later, the toe right next to it also had to do that same process. Moral of the story. Watch your repeat, Art. Also, before I go forward, what am I at? That doesn't feel like I've done 350. I'm gonna do 350, but I guess I'm gonna be doing 350. But yeah, moral of the story is watch where your feet are. But then again, accidents always happen, and things will happen that you're not happy will happen. I guess another story I could tell is. I'm going to say when I was about your age. I'm not going to ask anybody's age in here. I'm just going to assume ages of people and say late teens, early 20s. I was helping my dad move some lumber for a friend of his. And we were getting 
we were rolling the log up into the uh, bed of his truck. And the log is, I'd say about torso size. In weight, yeah, torso size in circumference. Or, I guess, diameter, rather. But, um, the weight, I would say it was, it's, it was pretty damn close to, it was pretty damn close to, like, 400 pounds. So, you know, one person rolling it up in Endeavor. Two people rolling it up? Manageable. So, we're rolling it up. His hand slipped off the log, and I'm just staying there holding, and I'm staying there, you know, trying to keep it. He's got one hand on it, his, his not dominant hand. I've got both hands on it, and it's rolling back, and I'm trying to catch it. So my hand goes, my hands go like this and underneath, and then I try to slip my hand around to get it, and I get my hand, I get my middle finger caught on the tailgate of his truck and between this log. So he has to quick run to his truck and pull forward to unpinch my finger. And <laughs> I'm not gonna hold up the finger sol uh, solely because I don't wanna flip people off and make and go against TOS. But that finger, that finger swole up to like twice its size and the fingernail was purple for a good three months. I might do one more stage because I don't feel like I've done the full service. Oh, I think I have done the full service. I just realized what time it is. I mean, I already had dinner. I can I can do one more. It's probably gonna be a battle. I did that to my sisters. Did you know that a, that that a ten year old has enough force to slam a car door, has enough force to slam a car door so hard to latch it shut on somebody's fingers? I found out at ten. <laughs> My sister found out at sixteen. Probably a mistake, but I got one more in me. I think I got one more in me, both time-wise and stamina-wise. I also want to see what I'm at overall. Yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be at almost 400. That's a good enough day, considering I went to work today. You know, doing 400 calories of work, 400 calories of working out on top of. Ooh, got it. You did it. Doing great. Doing for 400 calories worth of working out on top of. Um, doing a physical labor job real quick. Nice. Needless to say, I did my patented technique of deer in the headlights. Wow. at that moment I did my patented deer's deer in the headlights technique. Well I just stared at my well I just stared at the inside of my car and my sister figures going, those shouldn't be there. <laughs> like if it wasn't real life you would swear it was something out of a Jim Carrey out of a Jim Carrey skit of just, huh, that is not supposed to be there. <laughs> oh, I don't want to use one of these. All right, take a lump.
chance. Abdominal twist recipe. <sighs> Will it work this time? Because the first time I did this tonight, I didn't want to register. Uh. Statue, I'm gonna assume then. Feel it in your stomach when you eat that. Select the skill. I never had. I've never had that. Uh, Pleasantry of dislocating something. Well, I've come close to it. And I don't think I ever got uh, uh, properly treated, so I think it's still kind of an issue, but my left shoulder. I complained about my left shoulder when, uh, during the during the uh, early days of streaming with it. I complained a lot about my left shoulder being sore. And it still is every now and again. I think it's because when I was heavier, I'm going to say about 400 pounds, I used to... Uh, on days when I would nap or not take use my CPAP, I would sleep on my left. I would sleep on my side, usually my left. Well, I think I must have popped that shoulder out of socket, and then when I woke up, it went back into socket because this shoulder was sore for like two weeks, and I still can't like I still can't like grab things at certain angles or certain ways without without my arm being on well, my shoulder going ah 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 <laughs> okay let's go let's engage your inner thighs as you push <sighs> yes. yeah. oh the, the nice okay. thing and not nice thing about that Kasai is that popping your Wonderful. knee out of socket is something that's easily rectifiable right. fixed Nicely done. for the most part like anything that's dislocated, if you, grit, if you grit enough and just power through it, you can put it back in socket with, with, without medical attention. Okay. Fantastic. Knees are no exception. But it's literally one of those moments of bite this wooden dowel as hard as you need to. I'm going to cause you a lot of pain and you're going to need something to take your mind off it. A dislocated arm can be put back in the socket. A dislocated knee, Great. if you know where your knee, so if you know where your kneecap and knee socket is, in fact, there's a uh, footage out there. It's like a 2008 clip, I think, of a rugby player where you can clearly see his kneecap dislocated, and he just smacks that son of a gun until it goes back into position, and he picks it back up and keeps playing the game. But again, rugby players are crazy. Awesome. They'll, they'll pop their arm out of socket and yeah. still try to make a tackle. Fantastic. Good job. Excellent. Before heading off the field. Wonderful. Very nice. Amazing. Revolve Crescent Lunch tonight. I'm gonna do it now. Well, as my, well as I can with my right foot sliding constantly. Slowly twist to the left. Slowly return to the starting position. This is good for exercising your lower body, abs, and back.
what sparked this whole thing is my uh, injury. I think the main reason why I had the skin come off on my toe is because it's winter, so the air is really dry. <laughs> That's the only thing I can give. That's the only thing I can figure has happened is my skin got so dry that it just had a breaking point from all the mountain climbers and revolved crescent lunges I've been doing. I want to see something. Yeah, we'll be close to we'll be close to 400 calories burned by the time this is done. So I feel like this will be a good exercise day. I know I might. Uh, I might potentially start coming back to doing adventure mode. Like when I hit New Game Plus, I might come back to doing adventure mode for my daily workout stuff and just keep keep working out until the timer in the corner says two hours. Cause that's what I used to do on elliptical is I used to work out until I did two hours of working out. So I might go back to that standard. A gold standard if it were. Okay, let's go. Breathe out when you close your legs. Great! Sharp! Okay! Oh no. Perfect! Uh All right. I need to leave it on that. There you go. No, if I burned 4,000 calories, it would be like a 10 hour. I used to be streaming for 10 hours playing this. Okay. With minimal breaks. Well done. Who knows? Maybe I'll be like crazy enough in the future to do that. Yes. Yes. Fantastic. Wink, wink. Amazing. If you give me the mind, okay. do it. I talked about it lightly on Twitter already, but right. so forgive me if I delve into forbidden territory. Well but I mean, nice. VTubers, they, VTubers do streams with their own fit for like two, three hours of pop. I can't imagine somebody who do, someone like me who plays it every other day would be too far out of question to do a marathon stream for ten hours with like an hour long break okay. here and there. to 10% onto Don't that number rushed, in my head. But I have no actual number to go with that, so I just have to say that's the number I'm doing and uh, anything additional is awesome. With your legs bent slightly, squeeze. You're going to punch. Here comes the giant fist. Don't push it. Take a break if you need to. Oh no, it's understandable. Cause uh, here, let me use my mic stand for help. So 
the microphone is up here. It's there. You can hear me poke it. It's just out of camera shot over here. Like another six inches out of camera shot. Or I guess six inches from when you can see the top of this pole. That's about how far away it is. And I'm, well, at the base of this. I'm basically at the base of this pole. I'm at the base of, the, of this pole, which isn't even touching the, the microphone right now, but it's on the floor. This thing stands at about six and a half feet tall. So I'm roughly seven feet away from the microphone when I'm down on the ground. Which is not optimal for a shotgun mic. Shotgun mic. What I really should do is go and hook up my old uh, Samson Meteor mic for when I do these ring fit, ring fit streams, but whatever. Uh, to recap what is on the floor, potentially taboo, VTubers do streams where they play Ring Fit. It's not outside of the realm of me to do a ten, for me to do a 10 hour stream playing Ring Fit with like an hour break here and there. Pay me money and I'll do it. And that 10 hours came from the fact that I said I could, uh, that could probably get me up to 4,000 calories. I'd be dead by the end of it and probably be so starved, so starved that I'd have to eat an entire large pizza to recover the calories I lost, thus negating any of the working I did. Yeah. Wunderbar. Let's do some leg raises. Now that you can hear me again. Any, anybody who's lurking or watching the VOD working along with me, that's the last thing we're doing today. Ugh. I need to go into bed. Okay. Stand up. No need.
need to rush, though. <sighs> Let me do it like this. Let me come closer to you. Hello, I'm in your ears. So, to answer your question, it more or less hinges on what you do with a microphone or what you plan to do with a microphone. I myself, I need a professional, mostly professional microphone now because I do enough that I do enough and have dedicated enough to being a content creator that I need something that does better than standard USB mic stuff. So I'm bound by profession, even though I don't make enough money to make it my profession, I'm bound by profession to have something good. Now, if you're thinking about something to use more or less to talk with friends or to communicate in online games, stick with a headset mic. Like this is, this is an extreme price point to talk about here, but like this thing that's off of my, nice. This thing that is on my wireless headset, that's probably plenty good for what you need if you're just gonna talk with friends or, or make communication in online games. If you're thinking about getting to the realm of professionalism with microphones, there are plenty of USB microphones in the range of 40 to $100 that sound halfway decent where you don't have to invest the additional money into an audio condenser and XLR cabling. Which is what I'm using right now. It boils down more or less to your personal preference. Like the microphone I just got done mentioning, the Samson Meteor mic. It's like, the Samson Meteor mic is like a halfway step between a Blue Yeti and a $20 USB stand uh, on your desk microphone. And it's one I used for like, it's a microphone I used for the better part of four years. Oops. Okay, well, a Samson Meteor mic would probably cost you somewhere between $60 and $80. Like I said, that's the one I use. Uh, if you want to just test the waters, just to see how you would how you would fare with a stand microphone, get something kind of basic. Logitech make make like $20 to $40 range microphones that are pretty cheap but are decent sounding for their price range and see how you feel with a stand microphone. If it's awkward or not, really. Me, I've been talking into a microphone for the better, I've been talking into a microphone on a stand for at least 10 years in some capacity. So this, this microphone right here, how I'm speaking to you right now into this microphone does not bother me one iota. For somebody who is going to be starting with that, you may want to go with something that's a little, that it is not distracting in your eyes. Did 
I need to watch Grandma's Boy again. <laughs> So yeah, unfortunately, I can't give you like, unfortunately, I cannot give you like a definitive answer on what you should use. It more or less boils down to what you feel is right for you. I, ha I had nobody helping me. Like, mutual server we have is Charles' server. I had, I didn't even have Charles help me when I picked out this microphone I'm using right now. I searched the market. I searched the market and did the research on my own before I buckled down and bought what I bought whenever I bought them throughout my recording endeavors and throughout the years. Like to put everything into, into perspective, uh, to put it uh, before I hit the finish for today, put it all in perspective. The Logitech microphone you're probably eyeing up. 20 to 40 dollars the samson media mic that i upgraded to 60 to 100 dollars the current setup i'm using 250 dollars and i'm using mid to low end equipment right now i could get a i could probably upgrade my microphone again and get a 400 dollar microphone i could get a better c stand for it and actually make that sound better there are so many variables that i can't get into right now that it just comes down to you learning everything. Oh. Hey, hold on a minute. Come here. So something like this. <laughs> Here's the sad part. Okay. I have to do this. I bought this from my company's work store for, for funnies. store this is a you can't see it well I know but this is sing party I own four Wii U USB microphones and a copy of sing party that I basically got for nothing why did I buy this can you shake the eight ball and ask again later I guess in my in my mind's eye, I thought worst push comes to shove, and I have a recording session with multiple people. I'm gonna set up these three to four other microphones with this being my microphone, and just have them have their own microphones. That was my push comes to shove shovelware idea. Not to put that away. I'm a leg raiser. I'm a leg raiser. Cute. Uh. Let's stretch it out. All right. So. Let's begin. Our here comes the end of the stream routine. You need the ring con. Be mindful of your body and stretch within the range of your ability. So. This, uh, and pull down on your left elbow. I'm going to weigh my Stretch options. Your upper arms while I'm going to weigh my options coming up downward. here. But this Saturday, 
I have made some, I have actually made some concrete plans of something to do. Now do the same well, it's the not, the, not specifically this Saturday, but more or less this weekend. So Saturday streaming Stretch is slowly, up in the air. But don't hold your breath. If I do stream, we may make it a multi-game stream. Because I believe this Saturday, I believe on Saturday is the beginning of the persona of the, the persona side. crossover and event in Dragalia right Lost. Pull in your arm and stretch so, the muscles of my your left plan shoulder. Is to stream is to if I do stream this weekend is to stream doing the persona event and then once we get now tired of that on move on to side. age of calamity or something like that if other plans Slowly don't come up stretch out but be careful not keep to keep an eye on twitter i'll inform you there so for a change i actually know exactly what i'm doing on saturday <laughs> bring yourself back slowly and for those of you who don't remember dragalia lost it's a back phone game and grasp your left wrist it's a While phone game by Psy Games, right, and Nintendo gave it the, gave it the funding to make it happen. And now it took off running. Bring your neck back up and stretch Psy Games the are known for well. Grand Blue Fantasy. Stretch slowly. Don't overdo it. And I guess Arknights, potentially? Maybe not. Basically, Psy Games... Side games didn't slowly. start off in the mobile game market, and they've branched Join out to making actual console games you. in the recent in the recent Position year or two. Your glutes as if you're going to sit down, then stretch your hands forward. But yeah, that's enough of a history lesson about about a mobile company from Japan. Bring yourself back slowly. Spread your feet, raise both hands, and hold your left wrist. While pulling on your wrist, tilt to the right and stretch your side. But I guess, did anybody have any other questions they wanted to ask today before I pop my shoulder out of socket? I mean, before I end the stream. Return to your original position, switch hands, and bend the other way. <laughs> and even though I'm running late, I stretch will still slow. do a Don't viewer vote on where we go raiding, because we're going to raid somebody. back slowly and your stretching is complete good job <sighs> hmm so, something else here. While I pull myself apart. That right there. Those of you that also view the content on my YouTube channel will be happy to know that this is coming to the YouTube channel on Monday. This is your bonus for those of you that watch the streams. You get to know about something a couple days ahead of time. Something else you get to know about ahead of time is I get angry. Scooter doesn't get angry very often. It's scary when Scooter gets angry. And I don't, I don't like angry Scooter. Me and him are not in good speaking terms. Anyway, enough falafeling about. Well, if you haven't, no pressure to do it right now. Take your time to do so. But it is, it is just below the stream feed. The stream video feed. Uh, the channel is mostly Let's Play videos. I'll give you that warning. Uh, I did do a top 10 video about a month ago. If that's your bag. Anyway, I'll, I'll stop talking about that. Let's go over to... Let's go over to who I'm, who I'm following and see who we would, should raid tonight. So. 
your choices this evening for a raid. Uh, Scott Falco is playing Yakuza 0. Tom Fox is also playing Yakuza 0. Apparently tonight's Yakuza night. It's not Friday. Why are people playing Yakuza on not a Friday? <laughs> uh, Botanic Sage is playing Luigi's Mansion 3. Makatili is playing Minecraft. Uh, I think it's just kind of a chill, uh, chill stream with him. And Kiddo is playing Monster Hunter Rise, the demo. Because the main game doesn't come out for two months. So yeah, running through that once again. Uh, Scott Falco and Tom Fox both playing Yakuza 0. Botanic Sage, Luigi's Mansion 3, Nakatili, Minecraft, Kiddo, Monster Hunter Rise. Uh, if I have my pick, I think I'm actually just going to be lazy and let Auto Host handle it. But if you guys want to go raid somebody, that is all you. Minecraft? Nakatili with Minecraft? All right. I haven't raided Naka in like a month. Two months, actually. And I don't know what he's changed with this whole avatar thing he's got going on. We'll find out together. I don't have any raid messages. We'll just... We'll just hang out there and chill. Well, you'll chill. I'll join with you shortly. But thank you all for coming out tonight. I have, keep, again, keep your eyes on Twitter. If, if I do stream... And when? The what is not up for question because I already said what I'm going to do. But yeah. You folks have a great rest of your night. And if I do see you on Saturday, I'll see you on Saturday for Dragalia and Age of Calamity. Later!